Yo, what's good everybody? It's the Green Onion. Welcome back to some more diecast stuff. And today I think it's about time we revisit my collection and tally up all my cars to see how many I have since the last video. So, so I think the last video I had 1,100 and something cars. I'm guessing I probably am up to almost 2,000 by now, but we're going to have to check to make sure. So I just got another shelf up there. So most of these cars I had hanging on my wall are getting removed and put in put in storage or put on something like that shelf. So that's why there's a bunch of random stuff right there. My goal is to eliminate this because I used to have it all up here with carded cars. But uh, yeah, my walls are getting a little bit cluttered and these little blisters are fine for storing the cars. But a lot of them were collecting dust on top of it and it was just... It was time for them to go and, you know, I, I don't really want these cards hanging on my wall after a while anyway. I mean, it kind of looks cool actually if they're all bunched up like this, but I don't know. The cars look much nicer hanging out in a big wooden shelf like this. So these are the cars that didn't get chosen for a shelf spot because once again, I'm running, I'm out of space. I picked the cars I wanted for that shelf and the rest had to stay behind. So these are the ones that are staying behind. These are probably going to get moved into storage or something else. So I'll just give you a quick look at what kind of cars we got over here. So the ones that have the empty blisters, I did put it on a shelf. I'm just going to throw away the card. And the rest of these I'll take down, and I'll probably have to restart this whole thing. I might actually just take these carded cars and just put them starting up again on the front. Because I just ran out of room. Like some of these, like Rally Cat here. He's gonna have. He's just gonna go in a bin, like a storage bin, like some of the fantasy castings or castings I don't like, like this Fiat 500. Probably gonna end up in a storage somewhere. But here is a quick look of just some of the cars that didn't really make the cut. I guess these are just extras, actually. Like this, that's even on card. <laughs> I didn't even think that was on card. I thought that was open. That one's on card. I guess these are all. Oh no, that one's open. I, just, I thought these were all open, but is this one? Yeah, he's open. I thought those some of those are carded, I guess, so they're gonna be going in my little Hot Wheels display. Um, yeah, but we got some other things. A couple, just a couple cars I didn't really want to put on my shelf. They're they're okay, but I just didn't feel a need to put them on my shelf. I like to have my certain area. So this shelf right here, it was full of just a bunch of random main lines and stuff. I just wanted to clean that up. And now it is for premium cars and supercharger hunts only. So basically just rubber tire cars and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at what is on the shelf. So we've got the Forza sets 1 and 2. We've got the Japan Historics 2 Modern Classics. The Race Day. Air Cooled. This is the Cargo Carriers. The Euro Speed. 50th uh, Anniversary Classics. 50th Favorites Mix 1. Uh, these are just some random premium model cars that I really liked. I didn't really have a set to go there. So I just have this green light police, uh, Japan police GTR right there. Back to the Future DeLorean, the R34 from Fast and Furious. We've got a Gas Monkey Vet and the Ghost Rider Charger. And then up here we have the Shop Trucks. Then we have, what is that, Cars and Donuts. The 50th Favorites Mix Number 2. The, um, what is that one called, the Circuit Legends. And I don't know where I put the Shelby Daytona. I'll have to go find them later. I think I was doing something with them. Then we have the Drag Strip Demons minus the Scalped Chevy Bel Air Gaster, which I don't have yet. And then we get into the Super Trejants. So we have the Skyline and the Civic from this year, 2018. These are all 2017s, Mustang, NSX, and that Fair Lady. And then I did, ha I do have the entire 2018 set of Super Treasure Hunts. So that's the A, the B, C, D, E. I just have them in order of case. So here's the whole 2018 Super Treasure Hunt set. And I don't, I don't know where I put my regular Cruella Deville either. She's kind of floating around somewhere, I guess. But yeah, I want, I just I'm gonna go through a couple of channel updates, I guess, as I show you some of these cars. But a lot. I've been doing some of my Forza Horizon 4 live streams, I guess. I've been making some of the liveries of these supers in my game. Like, I had to, somebody actually made this a very good livery of the Ultimate Chase Bone Shaker in Horizon 4 that I just downloaded. But I have made the Skyline, the Audi, and this Camaro, and this uh, Lamborghini as well. I'm working on doing this uh, Skyline right here because that's in the game. But yeah, those are the cars I've been making liveries for, I guess. So that's pretty cool. 
and other channel updates, I guess. A lot I made my little. Uh, here's just a little diorama, I guess, of just some random cars on a highway or something. But anyway, <clears throat> I was really gonna get into making my um, customs or whatever. I sold that one custom that was in my other video for a total of ten dollars and fifty cents in U.S. dollars. So I don't know. It went pretty well, I guess. Um, and some of you, some of the, my subscribers or people that watch my videos asked me if I could make customs for them and if I would consider just like selling them to them or something like that. And I'm not gonna give you away customs because I would just take. I just don't have time for that. Really, I'm sorry. I'd love to give all my subscribers a custom, but I really don't have time for that at all. So. What I'm going to do, I think, is I put my email in the link of the description. Um, and if you want me to make you a custom or something like that, I I could do that if you would pay me a little bit of money, I guess. So here's my next case of cars. But yeah, if you if you'd be willing, I I was thinking like just because a couple of people were asking me if they'd make cars or wheel swaps with them or for them rather. But I could only see doing that if you would pay me, I guess, because. Those cars are not cheap. The wheel swaps alone would cost me five dollars because um, I'd have to get a fresh set of tires, and I would have to come off of a premium model car, and yeah, it was just a lot, a lot, a lot of extra stuff that I'd have to do. So I was thinking if I would sell my customs, I'd have to be in the range range of maybe like seven dollars and fifty cents, anywhere up to twenty dollars, because that's what that it might seem a little overpriced. But that is what I've been seeing on eBay, selling for stuff like that. And plus, you have to consider my costs. I have to make money in order to, you know, make this a viable thing. I can't just make free things. But, um, yeah, wheel swaps alone are just, they're $5 because you have to take the wheels of a $5 car. Or if you use, like, a company like Monoblock, you still have to buy their wheels, which Monoblock's wheels are amazing looking. But they're, again, they're not cheap. Not, not Nothing really is cheap. I haven't really found a cheap rubber wheel option for die cast cars yet so even a simple wheel swap i'd probably the bottom line would have to charge like seven dollars for it so yeah if you really want me to make a custom for you though i could just give me the car what wheels you want and what color blah 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 in the description below but some things i will say i can't really make because i probably won't have the car you request or i won't have a certain wheel or something like if you ask for a wheel that Hot Wheels released back in like 2007. I don't think I'm gonna go bother and go back to eBay and try to track that down. So basically that's my whole spiel about that. Uh, a couple of people were asking me if I would sell my customs and stuff like that, but the customs up here, I kinda just wanna keep around. Maybe create some duplicates. Like this one was pretty simple right here. This simple little Nissan R30 Skyline. Just to repaint, drop some classy looking real riders on it. I really want to make a LED light thing for this, for the headlights, because they're plastic. That'd be really nice. So yeah, this is just a nice little clean car. But I could probably make duplicates of that or something like that and maybe sell it. But a lot of these just have value to me, I guess. Like this is just my, this is just for me, that's my van. These are, these took me a while to make, these Mad Max customs. And this one also took me a little while. So, then we got the Fortnite Battle Buzz, some other ones. There's that little Chevy Impala I made a video on. Some other little restorations. Like, even so, this Mercedes I did a wheel swap on. You know, the wheels had to come off of one of those Forza premium entertainment cars, and those aren't cheap. Those are like $5 a piece, so even a simple wheel swap of that. No paint, same with this BMW M2. I would, I'd literally have to charge like $7 for that, and I don't, I don't know. But if you really want to buy one of my customs, I'm fine with it. A lot of people wouldn't. I guess, but uh, yeah, if you really want to, go check out my email below. And yeah, but back to this collection, I guess. Here we have some carded cars. I've kind of just used this little Hot Wheels display I got from Walmart for my carded cars. So just a random assortment of stuff. It's already getting pretty deep in there. I don't really feel like digging stuff out of there, but mostly just like first edition cars like these two right here, or the Audi Quattro, or cars I really, really like, like the Nissan Skyline. We have a Volkswagen. What is this thing? The pickup? Yeah, Volkswagen pickup. There's a GTR back there. Just cars I really like or I picked up duplicates of. <clears throat> There's some random cars here. This is, uh, shop trucks. This is going to one of my diecast friends. As well as this maybe. 
I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to that drag bus. Maybe, maybe not. We have some Honda car extras for customs or something like that. Some random other cars. This is all just Kmart exclusive junk that I got. I'm gonna sort through. So here's the little Fairlady 2000. I'm also gonna send this to whoever the person that wanted my trade thing. And there's some more stuff. So over here, here's some more cars that did not make the cut, really. I just didn't really feel I need to put them on my shelf, so I put them in this little, this little truck. So they're sitting in there. This another, here's the other side of it. This is mostly just like fantasy castings. Some of the cars from five packs or whatever just kind of have lackluster graphics on them. Cars that I don't have the full set from, which is like that. Or just other stuff that I just... I don't really want to put in my shelf. Here's the other one. So you can just see, like, mostly the five-pack cars, I don't really put in my display, unless I really... There are, have been a few of those five-pack cars I really actually, like, honestly like a lot. You'll see some of those later. But here's some other ones. This is just an extra R30. Some quick lights and a Matchbox van. And yeah, just other stuff. So moving on from that, up here I just have like more random cars, I guess. A couple of green lights that are very, very nice, by the way. A little spider carrier with a Chrysler on it. Just some other random stuff. So nothing much to see about that. Then I have some Fast and Furious cars on my wall here. The Honda series down below that. Then I have the Zamac Flames, in the middle is the Forza set, and the Lamborghinis. So that's just up here. And then this is the Target Decades Mix 1, and then I have the cards from some of the Team Transport ones. <clears throat> and I have 50 of the Stars and Stripes in the Black and Gold series down over here. So then, move on here, here are some of my Air cars. And then some of them I had some extra protectos laying around, so these are the ones I really like, like missing wheels, stuff like that. There's a fair lady missing its front wheel. That's my latest air find. Then we have some other ones right here. This one's like all small wheels or something. A lot of them are just tampo slide. There's a green light air. This, this wheel, I can't, no, I think this wheel's wrong. Yeah, it's supposed to be the black wheels, but there's a Porsche 911 that's missing the red lettering on the side so it's just they didn't fill it in this guy's a flipper a couple more tampo slides and then these are just wheel slide wheel slag with tampo slide this dude i don't know if you can see that he's missing his interior plastic he doesn't have his windshield so he's kind of trying to do like a aventador j kind of thing what would that be called the pagani hoira hoira h i don't know <laughs> trying to do somewhat like that and then here just more Junky fantasy cars, just shove them in there. I don't really want to look at them anymore. There's a couple of Happy New Year carbonators over there. And then here, cars from, once again, five packs, stuff like that. All this other junk. There's a Rocket League car. Yeah. Sorry for the awkward pause, my sister came around looking for a scissors, so anyway. Yeah, this is just some random cars I just had laying around. I didn't really want to display them, they're just kind of fantasy cars floating about, you know. Uh, half of these I don't even know why I picked up. Oh, this is kind of cool. Some of these are just loose cars from a long time ago when I was a kid or otherwise. Some random, random junk in here. <clears throat> but enough about that. I got some random cars up there. We got some carbonators over there. And then we have my main shelf area, I guess. Well, actually, that's my main shelf area, but this is the new shelf. And I put all my Super Treasure Hunt cards around it just to make it look prettier, I guess. And this shelf is wide enough to fit the cargo carriers or car culture team transport vehicles on there so I can put my trucks up there. Then I have the Volkswagen and the other one. And then we have some Porsches over here. I just kind of put up some Porsches, I guess. There's some 934 Turbo RSRs. I do have a lot of versions of that, actually. And here we go. I'll just kind of go down through this. These are just some of my favorite cars. Some Porsches, AMG, Mercedes, and all that. And then some Lamborghinis down at the bottom. 
And over here we have some Ford GT race cars. And then these are all Corvettes. All the C7s. Some C6. And then the rest are just older style Corvettes or otherwise. So then this shelf, these just some cars that are up on the top. And then here we have some first edition cars. I kind of started doing this as a first edition area, but I kind of went away from that. So these two are first editions. These two are not. They just kind of went with the set. That one's a first edition. This is not. Neither is that. Um, but these are. All the ones from here down, I think, are all first editions. So you can see what cars I got for that. I just kind of picked and choose what kind of cars I wanted to put in there. Now these ones on the bottom aren't first editions either, these are just kind of random cars. And over here, I think I just started putting in some JDM cars, and this is like, a, I, I really s narrowed down my JDM collection a lot, well, to what I wanted to display at least. I didn't really want to display all of these. I had way too many cars for that. I just kind of split everything up evenly this time, instead of just have this whole case before was just JDM. But now I'm splitting it up evenly, putting cars I really, really like out there. Because I quickly ran out of room for everything else. So, yeah, here's some, some of my JDM cars I really enjoy looking at. I'd really like them. So, and I have some Zamac cars down here. And by the way, with the five packs, I told you, some of the five packs actually come with good cars. Hey, this one's a five pack too. Yeah, some of the cars, like, this has actually got to be my favorite Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon, like, that how was it ever made? This has got to be my favorite one. It's it came out of a five pack. This is from the Speed Blur five pack. This has got to be my favorite Datsun five ten wagon like they have ever made. Even like premium ones. I'm definitely gonna pick up another five pack just to wheel swap this thing. What is that? It's like a hair. Oh, well, that's this plastic stuff from the interior. I'm gonna have to pick that out with a pick. But yeah, this is this is an awesome Datsun wagon. Like I love that little Hot Wheels logo in Japanese and everything. The color gray looks really well with that, with the wheels, with the gold wheels. I might swap that out with the wheels from the Skyline. I have like the rubber wheels, rubber gold lace wheels. But then we have some Zamac ones. My Forza set is not complete yet. I only have these two cars, but I'm gonna put the rest of them over there when I get them. And some random stuff on here. This case was just a mess before, but now I designated it to Matchbox. So these are all, this entire case is just going to be Matchbox vehicles. So starting off here we have some of the very few rubber tire Matchbox vehicles I have. And then just Matchbox cars, you know. I really like Matchbox. I've been tired of putting their cars in storage because I have no room for them. But now they have their own shelf. And I think Matchbox does the greatest job of making stock vehicles. Just paint it a color, slap on the wheels. I wouldn't want anybody else but Matchbox to do that. So I have a row of Tomica cars right there. That doesn't really count, I guess, for Matchbox, but I still want to put them up there. Some police Matchbox vehicles. And we got some bigger trucks and stuff like that. A lot of Jurassic World. They have done so many Jurassic World releases this year. So I have a lot of those. <clears throat> and then some of the Mercedes set. I don't know why there's a random road grader there. He'll probably go in storage eventually, but other stuff like that. And then honorable mentions over here, we have regular treasure hunts. Yeah, those are lame. And we have a cat. What say you, cat? There we go. Sit back down. What are you doing? You purring yet? Come on, purr. <laughs> Forced in the purr. It must purr. But and then over and over here, I think I already I think I already showed this off. To be honest, I'm losing track of my own collection. Yeah, I think I already showed that off. But I think the last thing I have, I'm gonna have to clean this up. Is I found the storage unit in the basement. I'm gonna be using this for for some of these cars that. I guess didn't make the cut, I just 
I just have too many cars right now. I just not enough space to put them. <clears throat> and I don't know why is this Mercedes Unimog down here. This deserves a spot. Because I love this. Is it, does it even fit? Let's put this down there. Let's see if it even fits. Oh, no. Doesn't fit. Of course, doesn't fit. Oh, he's going down there. You've been spared, Mr. Ford Raptor. Yeah, you're using just an assortment of cars that I've been having on my shelves for a while, and it's just time to change it up, get something new on there. Or just cars I recently picked up, like something like that. Just like Chevy Love. So, to be honest, these Flames cars, they're kind of just a repeat over and over and over for me. I don't really like. Picking up those flames cars over and over and over again. I mean, there's basically the same thing. There's recolor the car, recolor the flame, and it's always a classic muscle car. And I guess it gets kind of get kind of sick of it after a while. I guess this is actually a pretty nice truck here. From this, this is also from that Speed Blur series. I actually kind of like that Speed Blur series. See, it's something new, it's something different. They got all gray wheels and just interesting graphics. I guess they got an interesting color scheme with the graphics and everything. I, I like that Speed Blur series, so, yeah, just a bunch of other cars that I didn't have room for. Not to say they're bad, I if they were bad, I wouldn't have picked them up, but, um, I just didn't have room for them. So, they're going to be hanging around on my floor for a while before I find space for them in the storage unit. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video on my collection. One more thing though, I gotta count up all my cars. Let's see how many cars I have now. I think the last time was 1,100. This time is gonna be... All right, I'm back from counting every single god dang car in my collection. The total number of cars I currently have now is 1,437 cars. So I only moved up 300 since my last uh, collection video. I actually thought I moved up a lot more than that, but what, I've gotten to the point where I just have a lot of clutter, where I'm running out of room here, and I just have way, mu way too much clutter for what I want to display. Like, I want to be able to display all these cars, but I don't have enough room. I really just simply don't have enough room. This thing is for carded cars. You really can't display loose cars in that thing. It's, you know, it's meant for carded cars, because people are supposed to buy it off of this display. So, yeah, some of them are going to go up here once I have to rearrange this top area because I had a very large block of cars there that were just chilling out. But most of these are just going to go in storage for now. I don't really, I'm not a person that would sell off cars. I like just keeping all of them and see how many I can get. So, yeah, so I have 1,437 cars as of now. Hope you enjoyed this collection update. I do enjoy making these collection update videos. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.